a point number one. New covenant giving principles in 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9 are superior to tithing. New covenant giving principles in 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9 are superior to tithing. I sincerely believe this to be true. They are, number one, give yourself to God first. If you're not a child of God, no amount of giving will help you. Give yourself to knowing God's will. Give in response to Christ's gift. Give out of a sincere desire. Do not give because of any commandment. Give beyond your ability. Give to produce equality. For many Christians, that means more than 10%, but for many, it also means less than 10%. The New Covenant has this equality principle. It evens out in the end. Give joyfully. Give because you are growing spiritually. Give because you want to continue growing spiritually. And finally, give because you're hearing the gospel preached. Those are the New Covenant giving principles found in 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9. In God's Word, the tithe is always only food. In God's Word, the tithe is always only food. This is a fundamental Bible truth that affects every text in the Word of God where tithing is mentioned. And we must keep it in mind in order to understand God's Word. Use the Word of God and look up every single reference to the word tithe, the word tithes, the word tithing, and even the word tenth. You'll discover, as I did, that there are 16 different verses in the Word of God that contain the contents of the tithe. And the contents is always only food. It is never money. Money existed in the book of Genesis and in the, in the Pentateuch, yet money is never considered a tithable item in the Word of God. This definition is fundamental to understanding the, the doctrine of tithing in the Word of God. The argument is presented that tithes were always used as money in the Old Testament because money was very rare indeed. And the barter system required food to be used to purchase items. That argument is not biblical. In fact, the word money occurs 32 times in Genesis alone. The word money occurs 44 times before the tithe is first mentioned in Leviticus 27. And money occurs 62 times in the first five books of the Bible. The word shekel also occurs 32 times in the Pentateuch. 